what Shannon wants. What do you want, Shannon? I got him, Shannon. Oh, what's up, Shannon? Just the people I need to see. I've got this really cool project I've been trying to finish for so long, it's kind of embarrassing. Now I'm calling in some help before this thing becomes a fossil. Is this what I think this is? Yes, it is. Whose is it? Back in 06, I built Danny a bike, and I gave it to him for his birthday. <laughs> you it's built me. it? Is this the bike? He gave him half a bike. It's what a <laughs> present. That's just me. He's got, <laughs> just... Well, he's got a good point, though. I haven't finished it yet. Ten years later, it's not finished. It looked way worse than this in 2006. He has done work. It did not look this good. I mean, he's got a new wheel on it. All the powder coating's done. Motor's all the way in it. Remember, this was the battery. The battery used to go there. The 2 by 4 is not part of the fit and finish, right? Go ahead, laugh. <laughs> go ahead. Listen, what do you want? Yeah. I need your help. I need Paul to upholster the seat after I make the seat pan. Uh, I need mainly Ryan to do a cool paint job on it. So when we're, we're done, I would like to present this to Danny. So we are giving him a present. He's oh, going to know that you painted it and you upholstered the seat. Uh, well, he'll you. know that part, but we need to be involved. Yeah, we're gonna, that is yeah. involvement. When you give it to Danny, we are going to be there to help. In the handing it over. There. So you want to give him my present that I gave him? It ain't no. Well, then you don't need our help. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we just I, won't, we just won't be there. It was a birthday present from me. Half a motorcycle was your birthday present to Danny. You need us. We're going to be there when you give it to Danny. Deal? Deal? Come on. Agree. You got to shake it. I got to say, when I gave Danny this bike 10 years ago, I didn't imagine it was going to take this long. And even though it kills me to admit it, it probably would have taken another 10 years if I didn't get help from the crew. I got it back up and running, and Paulie worked his magic on a gorgeous custom seat, and Ryan pulled out all the stops on his badass one-of-a-kind paint job. And now she's finally done, it's time to let the boss in on the surprise. Remember that gift I gave you a long time ago? Like the banana nut bread? Oh, that was good. That was really good. <laughs> well, it was like a two-wheeled project I was working on. Kinda, about 10 years ago. I kind of vaguely remember <laughs> something from like a bazillion years ago, man. Took a long time because I needed some extra help on it. You're trying to tell me that it's actually really done. It's running, it's painted, it's finally done. Is it really? <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Where is she? Shall I open it? Yes, please. I can't believe this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No way! No way! Are you serious, dude? Sorry, it took a while. <laughs> well worth oh it, though. Oh my gosh! Oh, dude, wait a second! It's not yeah, just get closer. Black. It's covered in artwork, and it's different on all the way around. From there, it looks like a black bike. That's the idea. Oh my gosh, dude! I gotta admit, when Shannon first gave me this bike, I never thought I'd actually see the day it would be complete. But the guys blew me away. I mean, it just screams the count from front to back. From the frame itself to that beautiful black and chrome twin cam engine and that dual exhaust, I mean, these guys went all out. I'm talking down to every detail from the stretch tank down to the seat. And the artwork Ryan did, it's insane. It's covered and would take me days to notice every inch of what he did. He's a mad genius, man. I don't know how he thinks of this stuff. This baby is everything I've ever wanted and much, much more. Dude, this is absolutely gorgeous. Run me through this, Shannon. It's a one HD frame, and I just built a twin cam motor, uh, six-speed transmission. Well, dude, this frame is a great mm -hmm. riding frame. Yeah. Personally, I love that frame. You got a few custom pieces here and there, you know? Bro. Stretch bags. Stretch tank, yeah, the front fender, yeah. And I cannot believe this artwork. There's a ton to look at here, dude. Love the vampire skull up front. Oh my gosh, man, you got like a sculled out Elvis, like Skullvis oh, over yeah. here, man, with the whole music staff and the music notes and all that. I incorporated everything that I know about you. Oh, you're kidding. And your personal taste. Bro, this had to take forever. Yeah, about 10 years. 10 years? 10 years? <laughs> roughly, roughly 10 years. Well, there's a message on the back of it, and I think it really sums up everything that we've all been doing for years now. One love, the family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank and you, the family, because that's that's why family, it's on there. Family. It's beautiful. Like that uncle we, we didn't have. He is. <laughs> Come here, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try it on? Get it out of here. I'm sure you look better on it than Shannon does. Hey. My gosh, it's my bike. I love it. 
I love, oh, you know me so well. The bike may be a bagger, but this seat is only this thick and it is down on the frame. And that's what I love. I hate sitting on top of bikes. I love sitting down in them. And it's got tunes. Oh my gosh, I've never had a motorcycle that plays music. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe Shannon and the guys took the time to build this bike for me even if it did take 10 years. This thing's amazing, and I'm a lucky guy to have this bike, and I'm even luckier to have such a great crew. I can't wait to take this baby out on her maiden voyage. One love, the family. I'm out.